Should you be using more legs on your serve? Most coaches will tell you absolutely, but I'm here to tell you that might be a catastrophic mistake if your goal is to get more power on your serve. In this video, I'm gonna show you what you should be focusing on to get more miles per hour on your serve and start ripping those balls faster than ever. Let's get started. Hey there, Ramon Osu with you here, and you've definitely heard this before, you gotta use your legs if you want more power on the serve, right? Not exactly. And I got my uh, trusty student here, the Killer Kangaroo, to help me illustrate this point, and I wanna thank him for being here. Now, as you can see, the Killer Kangaroo has very strong legs. He can jump through the roof, but his serve, let's just say it leaves something to be desired, okay? And we'll just leave it at that. The reason his serve isn't very good is because Killer Kangaroo has not mastered the kinetic chain. He's mostly just hopping around all the time, which is natural. Now, if you think about it, the kinetic chain, if you've never heard of this before, is the way that power gets transferred into our shot in tennis. So if we're looking at the serve, we're going to push off the ground with our legs, our hips and our trunk will rotate, our arm expands upward to the ball, all of that power goes out through the hand to the wrist, to the racket face and the racket face annihilates the ball. That's basically how power starts. Now, the reason coaches are telling you to use your legs on your serve is A, because they're the biggest muscle in your body and it's the first link in the chain. So it makes sense, right? The problem with this is if you're a 3.0 to 4.0 player, there's probably a good chance you have a leak somewhere in your kinetic chain. Okay, what I mean by that is a lot of guys I see are trying to hit these big serves and they're bending down really low and they're jumping, but their throwing motion isn't correct or it's not smooth. None of the power that you've created with your legs is gonna make it to the racket face, or at least not very much of it, unless all of the links in the chain are open and are working freely. Okay, so a better approach, if you're trying to add more miles per hour to your serve, and you're in that 3.0 to 4.0 range, is really make sure that you're throwing the racket face at the ball smoothly. And if you, you know, I'm gonna make a video on this for you. If you have any problems with your throwing motion, I got you covered, just make sure you subscribe. But you wanna make sure that your throwing motion is smooth first. And then from there, we can work from the top down and gradually increase the power of your serve um, in fact, in a big way, because the legs are gonna add a tremendous amount of power to your serve once all the other links in the chain are working. But don't try to use your legs until you've got your throwing motion down. If you're looking for help on your serve, I got a drill you're gonna love. It's called the best serve drill ever, and you can do it in your living room with just a tennis ball, and this will help you develop that effortlessly powerful throwing motion, as well as some other uh, pieces to the puzzle. And you can have it for free just by clicking on the link and heading over and grabbing that. If you like this video, please click the like button and let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and what I can make for you in the next one. All right, if you like this one, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.